Okay, hey guys, um, what are we doing back here so soon? I feel like I just did my Prime Day video, and now we're back, I guess, part two. So, all right, I mean, I just happen to have like 30 new things that I can show you, so thank God I'm prepared, and I continue to make orders nonstop every day. I have more new stuff you've not seen before. Is he okay? <laughs> I just noticed him. He's good. All right, cool. I was just checking. I have a ton of new stuff that I can show you guys. So I'm excited for this video. These are like, I mean, I gotta be honest. I think I've got some pretty good ones in here. Here's what I like about this next Prime Day, okay? Prime Day P2, but which by the way, this is taking place tomorrow when you're seeing this. So October 11th and 12th are gonna be Prime Day Bonanza. So, you know, get your shopping in now. I don't know if they're gonna surprise us with the third one this year. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards they probably won't do that. So this is probably our best opportunity to buy gifts for people, get in the holiday spirit, you know, kind of get those things ready, like fall, winter items, gifts for other people, gifts for yourself. I like this date better, I will say that. Before we get into the video, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of the support that was on my last Amazon Favorites video. You guys used my links. I've actually never seen anything like that before. I've never had that many sales of anything before in my life. It was really, really crazy. So I appreciate you guys trusting my opinions, trusting my recommendations. So this time I really am trying to bring the heat. I'm trying to outdo myself with these um, recommendations. I think you're really gonna love them. So once again, if you guys like this stuff, it's all gonna be linked down below. I appreciate if you use my links. It really helps me out. And um, once again, I'm trying to become the number one top Amazon influencer. I'm in my gratitude era, so okay. All right, guys, let's begin. Let's start off with a bang, shall we? Okay, so first thing I have to show you is this purse fan slash power bank slash flashlight, okay? So it's got a lot of stuff going on here, not just a fan, and it's also shaped like a bear. So you can see right here that there's a USB slot on the back, so you can just plug your phone charger in on the go and charge your phone if you run out of battery or whatever you're doing. And then also, you can see on the bottom here that there's a flashlight. So if you hold down the power button, the flashlight comes on. So if you're in the dark or something, I don't know. Um, you, I mean, you never know when you're gonna need stuff like that. So it's actually a pretty decent flashlight. So, and then you just hold it down for it to come off. And then finally, my number one favorite part is the fan. So you just open it up easily like this and then press the power button and you've got two speeds, all right? So if it's hot out, you're at a concert, you're out to, I don't know what you do. Okay, look, we can all use this fan. I've already used this so many times since I bought it. And I think this is around like maybe 20 bucks or something like that. So it's not too expensive, but I love this. I really don't even want to turn this off. This feels good, I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, yeah, you will get a ton of use out of this. It's just a great little thing to have. And you know, it's nice to have those all in one type of gadgets. All right, next thing, let's move on. Guys, I'm so sorry, but I have to do this, okay? I have to tell you about my favorite sunglasses. I just wanna preface this by saying, and it might throw you off, but honestly, these are ugly sunglasses. There's something about wearing kind of ugly sunglasses that actually makes them cool. And you might know what I'm talking about once I put these on. I love these. I don't know, I, I mean, they're not, are they the coolest? Are they the most flattering shape? No, but I just, I feel like so effortless cool wearing them. I'm just drawn to them. I don't know what it is about seeing somebody that knows they're wearing ugly sunglasses and just they, they choose to rock them anyway. I think that there's something really epic about that. So I have a blue pair and then I also have a black pair which obviously go with anything. It just doesn't get much better than this. I just love these. Any time I need to leave the house these days, I'm wearing one of these. Every time, I love them. Next thing I wanna show you, this is a really big one. And this is one that I just, I have a 100% guarantee that you will love this. And this is, by the way, also a great gift to give anybody. So this is the five minute journal. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this does have the potential to change your life and it will change your life in a positive way. For me, I have said this publicly and privately and I will say it again, but I have to make a concentrated effort to be a happy, positive person every day. <laughs> it does not come to me naturally. Things like this create tangible change in my life and I feel more positive when I use it. I look for the positive things that happen to me throughout the day. I remember the things that happen to me throughout the day that are positive. I'm just a much happier, positive person and it's a palpable, change in my life i'm telling you right now and a lot of that is just because it's a focus on gratitude and positive affirmations and things like that this is like an example of what a page looks like things you're grateful for what would make today great there's some segments in the front of the book that really tell you about why you're doing these things and i think it really helps you understand what 
the shift is and what the psychology is behind why you're starting to feel more positive. So I'm telling you, if you're in a rut, if you know somebody in a rut who struggles maybe with positivity or consistency or motivation and things like that, this really, really helps, okay? This is a great gift and it's a really positive gift as well. And it's only like 20 bucks. I would get one of these, it only takes five minutes. It's a good thing to incorporate into your routine. Next up, I have more water bottles and I know Last time I showed you guys these water bottles and these were like some of the best sellers from my last video and people went crazy for these. I happen to love these. My husband's on these now, the big reduce water jugs. But if you're not into like a big water jug that day, I have another option for you and I love these. These are from Simple Modern, which is a great insulated water tumbler company. So cute. Okay, so cute. They have some of the best designs. So right here I have kind of like a midnight, you know, starry one that's really pretty. And then this one I just recently bought and this is like a, you know, leopard print, very aesthetic. Both of these are so aesthetic, I love them. And your drink will stay cold forever, okay? You will wake up the next morning, all the ice is still in there. I don't know why anyone would use anything other than an insulated tumbler like this. I mean, they're just the best for keeping your drinks hot or cold. And in addition to this cup and this straw, it also comes with this lid as well. So if you wanna do hot drinks, you wanna put coffee in there or whatever, it also comes with this, which is not typical, I feel like, with when you buy like a water bottle or something like that. And then it also comes with an extra straw. So that's with all of those purchases of those. And I think that those are pretty affordable as well. These are also good for the dishwasher, which is like, it's just nice, you know what I mean? So you just throw it in there. I love these. All right, next up, I have to tell you about the best blanket ever. And I'm glad that we're having Prime Day now and not in summer because because I probably wouldn't have sold very well <laughs> if I told you about this in summer. But I have a heavy duty, like faux fur, so silky soft, fuzzy blanket, so cozy. And it's just perfect. Like it's, it's cute enough to be home decor, like a throw blanket, but it's nice and big and just beautiful. So, okay, let me show you one of my favorite blankets ever that I found. And it's super heavy, but it, at the same time, it's not, like you can see it's, it's sort of thin, but it also is like heavy and cozy. It's like perfect for watching a movie fall day. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. I love this blanket. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. It's just comfortable, cozy, licious. It almost feels sort of like a weighted blanket, but not as heavy as a weighted blanket because those are way too much, you know what I mean? And it's really big. They're, they come in different sizes. I think I bought like one of the bigger sizes of this. Guys, it's just gorgeous. Like this looks real, okay? This is not real obviously fur. Another blanket recommendation, you know I had to do it, I'm so sorry. I can't stop buying blankets, I just can't stop. So this next one, I'm so excited to tell you about this. I am so excited because you know what? Because I really haven't, I don't think given you maybe any makeup favorites ever from Amazon. And this is by far, this has been a lifelong pursuit of mine is trying to find the perfect makeup brush set and I can confidently say I have finally found it. As somebody who buys a ton of makeup brushes, I've asked for a ton for Christmas, I have a lot. I used to be a beauty channel. This is by far the best makeup brush set. Do your whole face with this, you don't need any other brush. Okay, so, and they're dirty, so this is an authentic review. But this set from Do Color, I'm gonna link the exact one because I think there's some other ones, but this one specifically, okay. The best makeup brush set, the best. Okay, so I wanna talk to you about some of my favorite brushes within this. So obviously like you've got your highlighter brush. First of all, I love the aesthetic of all of these. It's kind of just like all these pastel-y colors, but this brush right here, this blending brush, is why I fell in love with this and why I bought this in the first place because I have been looking for the perfect brush. I had one in the past that I bought from this random company that went out of business. I've never been able to find one since until I bought this set. So if you'll look at this really quick. So this is a very short but fat blending brush. Perfect for diffusing your eyeshadow evenly across your lid. I'm telling you, my makeup changed after I started using this kind of brush, and I finally found the dupe of it. 
and I love it. it. It is so great for diffusing perfectly and evenly. No streaks because these are synthetic brushes. You're not gonna get streaks because it's not natural brushes and they're not scratchy. They're all so great. They've got a great powder brush or you can use it for a bronzer across your face. You've got like a little foundation brush if you wanna do that. Concealer or whatever else you wanna do. You could pack powder with this. Every kind of blending brush, perfect blending brushes for doing intricate eye looks or just you know, nice smoked out looks, packing stuff on the lid, everything. Everything's in there. It's like 30 bucks, maybe less. Best makeup brush that I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. I can't tell you how many times I've, number one, spent way too much money on brushes, but I have bought a set and I only use like a couple brushes out of it. I use every single brush in there. They're the best. These next ones I'm really excited to show you because I have been using these for probably I wanna say probably three or four years and I just never mentioned them. I think they just became part of my everyday life. You just get used to them. So these are, and I have many more, but they're in use currently. These are silicone lids basically. And I use these constantly. They're rewashable, reusable. These I use in place of like plastic wrap or when you typically cover stuff with like tin foil or whatever. Anything that's like circular, you can use to cover and keep it really, really fresh. So for example, they have one that you can use for like cans. So if you open a can of, you know, let's say refried beans or whatever, and you don't use the whole thing, you could just put the lid on there and it fits on there really snug and you don't have to fiddle around with plastic wrap or tin foil or whatever and like waste it. So I love these. They're easy to wash. You can throw them in the top rack of your dishwasher. You can just hand wash them, whatever. So useful, so great, hardly costs anything. Love those silicone lids. Okay, so this next one's kind of in a similar vein to that one. And once again, I've had these for like three years and I never told you guys about them. And and for that, I also have to apologize because I really love these. And once again, reusable bags, okay? A lot of the things that I typically will use these bags for, like lettuce and things like that, like, you know, store-bought lettuce bags, I'll put them in here, you know, so that they are not just sitting loosely for like, in my fridge. So I just reuse this over and over. They also come with like little ones. You can put even makeup in here, little snacks in here, whatever. And they also have really nice sandwich bags and these actually close much nicer than a Ziploc. Like they're much more secure. I really prefer these two, the Ziploc bags. And I think they're nicer quality. And I actually think that they keep stuff fresher just because they close so much nicer. Like the closure is much more secure. You know what I mean? So this next Amazon favorite I love. This is pretty new actually to me, but I needed a storage solution desperately for the corner of my bathroom, okay? If you have this problem, I have a solution for you. I only have one of them right here to show you, but it's this acrylic little shelf, okay? It takes two seconds to just screw these in. You can do it by hand, but it comes with two of these and they go on top of each other. It's the perfect storage solution for in the corner of your bathroom. I'm telling you, if you have the same problem, which I know a million of you guys do, this is such a great solution. I like that it's acrylic, so it's kind of low profile. Like you don't notice it as much. What I love about this is that they stack on top of each other. So I'm gonna insert a picture of mine, but there's a ton of space between the shelves. So you can really fit a lot of stuff like perfumes. You can fit things that are pretty tall, which I like. These you can really fit a lot. You can fit a lot under it on top. So it's basically like almost three levels of really, really good bathroom storage or counter storage or whatever it is. And this is just perfect for that really awkward area on your countertop in the corner, you know? So I just wanted to tell you about this if you do have that same problem of the storage, because let me tell you, I didn't know where to put my perfume. I didn't know where to put my deodorant. I didn't know where to put any of this. Gotta love that. You just simply gotta love it. Okay, so this next thing I have to tell you about, but I'm just gonna warn you that if you don't buy it, I'm not threatening anybody, but if you don't buy it, I'm telling you, Trust me, anytime that something happens, you're gonna think to yourself, I wish I had that, okay? So this is the Handy Aid. It's a jar opener. It's like just, you can open really anything with it. Like anything that's difficult, it'll help you open it because it's got grippy silicone. And I've used this a million times, okay? I have used this one million times. I think it's only seven or eight bucks. This saves my hands from getting all gashed up whenever I try to open something. I use this to open the top of a silk almond milk lid just yesterday. I used this to open a Just Egg container today that I could not get open. This is one of those things that you just, you're glad you have it. You know, I've used this a million times. This has paid for itself in years of my life. 
Okay, like I, I got my life back, all right? <laughs> Otherwise I would have been sitting there struggling and just getting mad and blood pressure rising, you know, all that. You know what it is. So let's talk about a couple travel items, shall we? So I wanna talk to you just about this because I think it's really cute and it's just a really awesome option because we all love to travel and be aesthetic. So I have found this, which is a little passport, glitter gorgeous, amazing passport. But you know, you could just put anything that's important. It comes with a little pen, which is really cute. You can write stuff down that's important. You can put your cards in there. You can almost use this really as a wallet. Trapper keeper for your passport or any documents when you're traveling. You can keep this in your purse. You could do your, your registration for your car in here. I mean, you, you know what I mean. 7-Eleven card, I don't know. Whatever you wanna put in here, you can put in here, but it is very aesthetic, gorgeous, protective, and it just feels more secure, you know, than just carrying around your passport like loose leaf. Me personally, I'm not gonna carry around my, my passport loose leaf. I'm gonna use something gorgeous like this. All right, so this next travel item, I don't think I've talked about in an Amazon favorites video, but I have to mention my favorite for travel, okay? This is if you're into this sort of thing, obviously, but I love my travel hangers, okay? They come in a lot of cute pastel colors. Um, I think it comes with like 10 or 12 of them, but they basically, here, let me, hold on. Let me do an instant replay. So they're low profile, not gonna take up much space, obviously, because that's, not something you would want when you're traveling. But when you get to the hotel or wherever you are, you're staying at somebody's house, whatever it is, and you wanna hang up stuff, like let's say you bring a nice coat or you know, a linen shirt or whatever it is, you, you bring something you wanna hang up and just wanna be tidy, you just hang it up. If you have a strapped dress, something with straps, you can hang it on here, it's really nice and these are, Pretty sturdy, but I don't know. I'm just, I become one of those people that just likes to unpack when I get to hotels and just make everything look nice and, and neat for the time that I'm there, even if I'm only there a couple days. It's nice to just hang my clothes up in the closet, have a place for them, and not have it just crumpled up loosely on the ground, you know what I mean? They're really affordable, but they're just something cool that I like to bring with me. Travel in style, guys. I like to travel in style, right? Who could blame me? Another thing that could be perceived as travel. This is such a great idea. <laughs> I wish I'd thought it myself. So this is the sleep sack and it's for self tanning. So for all of us self tanners, I mean, you guys know if you self tan, it's a lifestyle, okay? It's a lifestyle for sure. It's it's a choice. It's one of those, if you know, you know lifestyles. But the thing that's most frustrating about it is what, guys? And don't say when it leaks all over and don't say when it gets all gross and starts to pill up and you know starts to flake off, okay? And become uneven and ugly and gross and get stuck in your fingers. Okay, that's not, oh, look, there's a lot of downsides to self-tan. <laughs> But one of the worst is what? When you go to sleep and it gets all over your sheets and it's uncomfortable and you're just like, ew, I just, you know, sometimes you just forego self tanning altogether because you're like, I just don't want to get on my sheets. I just wash them. I don't want to have to wash my sheets. Like I just, I don't want to go through this right now. This makes it a lot easier. So, so it goes over your pillow. It goes all the way down to your bed. It's like almost like a little sleeping bag kind of laid out across your bed. That way you don't have to get it anywhere on your sheets. You don't have the smell on your sheets. You don't wake up and there's like, it looks like you slept on M&Ms or something. The reason why I'm kind of also including this in like travel is because you could bring this easily. Look how low profile this is. You put it back in the bag, it's it's not gonna take up a ton of room, but you can bring this with you if you're at a hotel, if you ever self tan at a hotel, which I have, uh, and you don't wanna give the housekeeping a scare. <laughs> this would be a good option as well. I mean, if you, you know if you self tan, it could be, it's a nightmare. So that's the sleep sack. Enjoy, people, enjoy. Okay, so this next thing I'm gonna talk about, I know when I have an iconic Amazon find on my hands, and I know that this is one of them, okay? So I just, I don't want everyone to go running to Amazon at once, all right? Just continue to watch the video, but I'm just, you're welcome, okay? You're welcome. Now, you guys have heard of hot girl walks, but have you ever heard of hot girl heating pad? I'm gonna say it again. Have you ever heard of hot girl heating pad? Because this is the most aesthetically gorgeous heating pad I have ever, ever seen. But not only that, this is pretty high tech, guys. I've only had like really kind of crappy heating pads in my life because I just never knew the difference and never thought that there was a difference. But this is like high tech, okay? This is like a very nice, it's a lighted LED display. I mean, it's super nice, but it gets hot really fast. My other heating pads in the past, I would turn them on and then 10 minutes later, it would finally start to get hot. I'm like, oh. I forgot I even turned that off. <laughs> this is hot within seconds, okay? It's the cutest little, the cutest li 
I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm kidding. Cutest little aesthetic pattern you've ever seen in your entire life. I just, I'm obsessed with this. It's long, it's big and long. If you have like period cramps, if you have back pain, if people are just a thorn in your side and you just need some relaxation, trust me, you're gonna need this. Um, here's another thing that I love. This is a super long cord as well. So you can sit basically 10 feet away from this thing and you can still reach it to whatever your favorite chair is or whatever it is, your bed. So I like that as well. It's just the little things, guys. It's the little things. It's my gratitude journal. This is my number one thing I write about in my gratitude journal right here. Number one thing I'm gonna recommend seeing in this video is this, all right? So if you wanna be part of the new wave, get yourself a hot girl heating pad. That's all I can say, okay? So, all right, let's talk about more comfort items. So I have to talk to you about this because I have not talked about this yet. This is right here, a chair pad, okay? Chair pillow, whatever. Um, this is specifically if you have like sciatica or anything like that. I do, okay? Um, I do. And I'm telling you right now, this chair, I bought one for me and my husband because we both have issues and we sit on this all day and I sit at my desk for like hours and hours and hours. I'm gonna use this today because I'm gonna be editing this video, but hours and hours and hours and hours I sit at my desk and before I had this, I would have like shooting pain down my leg and I think it was like sciatica pain. And once I got this, I have no problems. I have no problems whatsoever. So I just love this. Definitely, if you are somebody that's very sedentary, you sit at your desk all day. My husband has one that he brings to work, or he brought to work, and he has one for home. I have one for home. We are big fans of the sciatica pillow, okay? And honestly, I have a feeling you would be too. You guys know if you have that problem. So this next thing that I wanna to talk to you about is actually, I didn't even realize it was on screen. Okay, so it's desperately wanting to get on to the video um, for good reason because it's one of the best things I've ever bought from Amazon. I love to have my house feel clean and if you love to have your house feel clean or your apartment or whatever it is, this is a good one, okay? I, I wish I bought this sooner. I wish I bought this 10 years ago. So this right here is the O Cedar Mop. It's like 40 bucks and it's the best 40 bucks you will ever spend for cleaning ever, okay? So this is what it looks like right here. You'll notice that there's a pedal right here. So what you do is you take the mop head, click it in, you put it in the little thing, and it rings it out. So it's not so sopping wet whenever you go to mop your floor. Something that I use with it as well is I bought some big pine saw, okay, to put in there because I really like that lemon smell because it feels like you had a cleaning service come over. And you just do water and you do, you know, the appropriate amount of pine saw. I mop every single week now. My floors were so dirty. It's actually disgusting. You will be horrified. The water comes out gray, gray. The smell that it leaves behind is so fresh, so clean. I love the way my house feels. I love doing it. It's cathartic. It feels good. It's like one of my favorite cleaning things I could ever do. Trust me, you're going to love it. And you can use it on hardwood as long as you wring it out enough. Just hit the pedal a couple more times, but it's, I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. And then when you're done, you just take that mop head, you click it off and you throw it in the washing machine and that's it. It's the greatest purchase I've ever made as far as cleaning supplies, I'm telling you. The best, okay, the best. Let's discuss a couple kitchen items. I actually have a lot of kitchen items as usual. It's like my favorite thing to buy on Amazon. So I just wanted to mention these again. Okay, look how gorgeous these are. So these are great, especially because, you know, we're getting into fall and people usually do a lot more baking, cupcakes, muffins, things like that. So these silicone muffin molds, cupcake molds are the best ever. You can also use these for like kids lunches and things like that. I've tried actually other brands of these. These are by far the best because they're the thickest. Um, they have the most structure to them and they don't stain as easily as the other ones and they're just really easy to clean. So I totally recommend these. These are like eight bucks or something. They're Amazon basics, but but I just love them. It's so easy and you don't have to clean up your muffin pan or your cake pan or whatever. Um, and nothing sticks to them because they're silicone. So it's just like a win-win, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's the little things in life, guys. It's the little things in life. All right, next thing that I wanna talk about is something that I have also kind of mentioned before. I just have to say I bought another one because it's just my favorite. And after using other rice makers and things like that, I just, I, I go back to this one every time. 
and it's the Dash Mini Rice Maker. And there's a ton of different things that you can make in this rice maker. You can do soup and stuff. It comes with a whole recipe guide and all that stuff, so it'll tell you exactly how to use this. But it's so easy and simple, and it doesn't take as long as other rice makers. I bought another one that, like, it takes 40 minutes for rice, and usually I'm just not willing to wait that long. It's so simple, and you know, this is something where it's like, this would be great for a dorm room, small spaces, and it's also a really good gift, especially like I bought one for my brother, and my brother loves to like work out, eat healthy, and he eats chicken and rice and broccoli every day, so I bought him like a black one, obviously, I wasn't gonna buy him a pink one, but he loves it, it was like one of the best gifts I ever bought him. So if you wanna get it as a gift for somebody, you know, somebody likes to eat healthy, that eats a lot of rice. I love these things. And it's just so simple, easy. It doesn't take up a lot of space because I know that that's an issue with a lot of, you know, kitchen items and things like that. So, oh my gosh, it's so affordable too. It's like 25 bucks. Okay, more kitchen items. I just want to talk about this because we're in hashtag chili season and crock pot season and stuff like that. So these two things are kind of similar. If you did not know, you can do liners for your crock pot so you don't have to clean it out every single time and it's really easy to just transfer whatever you made into a you know a storage dish if you make a lot because usually you're making big batches right like of chili or something so these are just slow cooker liners you just put them on and you know you're good to go everything cooks the same way but i got mine on amazon or reynolds kitchen comes with six trust me you're gonna like those and then this one has really changed our lives. So these are air fryer parchment little liners. We love these. I mean, the worst part about using an air fryer sometimes is having to clean out the air fryer. Like sometimes it will deter me from even making anything in the air fryer. These allow the air fryer to, to work as normal and it doesn't obstruct any of the airflow or anything like that, but it just keeps everything neat and tidy. There's no grease all over the place. There's no oil everywhere. And there's no seasoning all over the place. Nothing gets stuck to it, obviously. And then you can also reuse these depending on what you make in there so I will you reuse these like two or three times and then finally discard it but I just love them and it comes with a ton and it was like 11 bucks or something like that so really affordable great option if you have an air fryer oh my god we use that constantly so I want to tell you guys also about my salad container which I love this is a bench go salad container and I bought these for my husband because he goes to work and he takes salads to work so it comes with a little fork, as you can see up there, which is really nice. But when you open it, okay, there's this portion up here, and these come in, by the way, in a lot of different colors. There's a salad dressing container all by itself, which I like, so you can take it out easily and wash it every day. The salad is completely by itself. It doesn't get the lettuce all soggy. But up here, you can put like croutons, you can put tomatoes, cucumbers, whatever you don't want in this final like compartment. So you just put your lettuce in here. I mean, you could do anything. You could do broccoli or something. You could do rice. You don't have to just use this for salad. You could do like a Buddha bowl or whatever those are called. I love how these all fit together and keeps everything separate, but it's all in there and compact. So I just, we really love these. And I think this is $14. So, okay, are we ready to talk about a couple clothing items? So my style is very much, well, my lifestyle is pretty much never leave the house. And if I do, just have it be the most comfortable clothes that I could possibly find. So basically, these are like my favorite thing ever. And these are, I would say, very similar to the Lululemon scuba hoodies, okay? I've talked about these two before. I think I've showed these in a video. They're pretty much the same thing, guys. Um, they just don't have the logo, obviously. But I just recently bought this one and I love it. These are like 30 bucks. They're, they're so nice. They're really cool. They're really flattering. And I like how high the hood comes up. I mean, if you guys have seen a scuba hoodie, that's what they look like. They've even got like the thumb hole in there. They've got everything. They're like slightly cropped. It's the three quarter zip. It's got a pocket right here. And then like the really nice hood. This is a great thing to wear just on the go with some leggings and some sneakers. And it's just very much like that really effortless athleisure. Also looks really cute by the way with my fave sunglasses, just saying. I have this sort of like peach one. They have a ton of different colors. So if you wanna just go online and look, but yeah, I have this pink one. I love this pink one. It's super pretty. These are really nice too because it's kind of like that soft, almost like smooth sort of silky material. And then finally I have the gray one. So I have a lot of the neutral colors, but I just love these. Just a great little option. 
and so affordable. I mean, the Lulu's ones, they're like 118, I wanna say, compared to like 30 or 40 bucks for those. So I would go with those. Um, I wanna talk about some pants that I love. These are $14, okay? And they're perfect lounge pants that I feel like look pretty cute and cool, and they go with anything. So 14 bucks, these are the champion sweatpants. They're loose pants, so yeah. They're not like joggers or anything like that, but this is like the black pair. They're super nice. They have a little bit of a tie. They're just flowy and they're not too hot. So if you're somebody that gets really hot, like I overheat a lot. So these are just really pretty. They go with absolutely everything. They go with those sweatpants, I mean those uh, sweaters. And then I also have this gray pair, which I love. This was the first pair that I got. Here's the bottom of them. I feel like for me personally, I'm short. So I feel like when I wear joggers, it kind of cuts me off. So I feel like for whatever reason, these they're more flattering on my body than the jogger kind of pants. Just because I am short, they elongate my legs a little bit more. Finally, I love this find because this is great for people that they want to look nice when they go out, but they also want to be really comfortable because these are basically like sweatpants. So these pants right here, they're super soft and stretchy, but they look kind of like work pants. So you could dress them up or you could dress them down. You could wear them with a sweatshirt or you could wear them with, with a nicer top and nicer shoes and it just all depends. You can wear them with tennis shoes or whatever. It's just really, they're very versatile. They're a nice luxurious material as well and they feel rich. Next thing that I wanna to talk to you about, this is a really big one for me and if you struggle with damaged hair from whether it be bleach, okay, look, I may or may not bleach my hair. <laughs> This may or may not be natural. So if you struggle from damaged hair, from bleach or from styles where it's like, you know, another thing that I do is I put like ponytails or buns in and it like kind of breaks my hair off in certain places. So I struggle with that from heating tools and things like that. So anything can really damage your hair these days. But I found this and honestly, I can say of all of the hair products, beauty products, whatever, that I put in my hair, there's two products that have made an actual tangible difference that I have noticed. Olaplex and then also this product which is K18 and it's kind of expensive for this little bottle but you only need a little bit you'll see the difference okay you will see the difference and you can see it happening in the first use you know a lot of products you buy them and it's like oh it'll take 20 days or it takes five years to see results whatever you know this is like this to me was instant and I have the most probably damaged hair of anybody that's watching this video um, I'm, I'm really in the lead for that one I think it feels healthy it feels soft when I style it it's like super soft and just full and just it almost like it bonds your hair back together and like all those flyaways and split ends and things like that they all like come together and they're like whole again so I recommend this. It is, a, it is a little bit pricey for one bottle for what seems like not a lot of product. And it, by the way, it smells great. So I recommend. Okay, so next thing I wanna talk about, I actually don't have in front of me, but I wanna show you, it's my artwork that I found. Now it's on my walls right now and it's just one of my favorite things I bought from Amazon so I have to include it. If you're looking for big art that's going to make a big difference and it's framed, I think it's pretty good quality. And it's just cute designs for a decent price. I think that they're really expensive looking for not being very expensive. So if you're looking for art, I recommend this art. It's just, it's just good. So I recommend it, okay. Next thing I wanna show you, I can't actually show you holding it, but I'm using it right now. And I found basically a perfect similar dupe to the Elgato Streamlight. So if you guys are into photography, social media use, content creation, streaming, you're still doing Zoom calls on the regular, whatever. Anything like that where you would need a nice light. I found basically a dupe for the Elgato Streamlight. And if you don't know what the Elgato Streamlight is, it's basically a very expensive light that is very bright, but it's a really nice, like compact design and I've wanted one forever, but I just really couldn't justify the price. So last Prime Day, I actually bought this light because it was on sale and I discovered when it got to me that it was an exact dupe, like perfect exact dupe. So I feel very happy to finally share with you that I found something really great, a good option, because I know a lot of that equipment can get really expensive, like streaming equipment and just all of it. And I will say though that you do need to use a USB 3.0 outlet. I thought it didn't work at first because it was like, 
flashing and stuff, you need to use a USB 3 outlet. So if the USB has blue inside of it, that means it's USB 3. Love it, love it, love it, guys. I just had to show that with you if that's specific to you, obviously. Okay, let me show you this next one. This is pretty cool. So if you are like me, and you may need this after this video, and you hate to break down boxes and you feel yourself always having to break down boxes, I have found the Works Zip Snip, okay? So this is basically a box cutter and it helps break down boxes very simple and easy. And it's also rechargeable and has like a safety blade. So I'm going to demonstrate for you, okay? Yay, when you buy so many Amazon packages that you need something like this. Now, you can use this for a ton of different things. You can use this for wrapping papers. You can use this for fabric if you do sewing, if you're doing projects like craft and projects like that. You can use it actually to like hem your pants because um, it, it can cut through stuff like that. So there's a lot of different uses. It's not just for box cutting, but I will be honest, I did buy it to help me break down all of my Amazon boxes and you know, online shopping orders. So next thing that I wanna to talk to you about, this is the Skylight from Bliss Lights and this was like 30 bucks and I've really had this in my Amazon cart forever. I've wanted this forever and it's a galaxy light. So you just put it in your room or wherever you wanna put it. You can app control it, but it will go up on your wall and basically just do like an, a galaxy wall. So it does stars and it does like nebula and you can change the different colors of it. It's really pretty. This is really calming and I find myself wanting this on all the time. It just is soothing. On top of your wall, you're like, oh wow. I'm just looking at my wall, I'm like, I could get lost in it. <laughs> Once again, it was like 30 bucks. You know, I've wanted one for a long time. I'm sure this is gonna be on sale for Prime Day. I almost guarantee it will be, but every time people see this, they ask me where I got it and I have to say I got it on Amazon. It was very affordable. All right, so two more things guys. This right here, this cost me $11. This is a vent cleaning kit. Now this thing I don't really use as much. You can see that I did sort of use it a little bit. Um, this is just to get into your laundry vent. If you have that little dryer vent area that you always have to clean, sometimes it's hard to get in there, right? So that's what I bought this for. One of the most common ways to start a house fire is the dryer vent, okay? It's very dangerous if you don't clean it well. If there's stuff in there, it can easily catch on fire. So something like this is actually maybe a little bit more important than even what I'm saying, because I'm just like, oh, this helps me clean. But very important. Okay, so 11 bucks. This is a little attachment that fits on virtually every single you know vacuum that you have. I was able to clean so intensely in there. There was like rocks and things. It was like, what is that doing in here? There was so much just dryer fuzz and stuff I couldn't get to, lint I couldn't get to that was stuck down there and I, like, I couldn't even reach it with my fingers because it goes down so deep. So, and by the way, this is not a beer bong, okay? This could potentially save your house, all right? So my final item, guys, my final item, I have not talked about this, but I did get this last year for Christmas. And I have to say this would be number one great gift. I don't know if it'll be on sale for Prime Day, but it is just a great gift and I love it and we use it all the time. And it's my popcorn machine, okay? So we did kind of like a makeshift movie theater in our basement and it's just one of the joys of our life to make popcorn. It, it tastes so good. I'm gonna put down below all the products that I use because I bought all of them on Amazon, like all the products I use to make popcorn as well but it tastes so good. It makes the whole basement smell like a popcorn machine. It's so luxurious and fun and it's just exciting. Like people come over and it's just this big event where I will like sit there and I'll make popcorn for everybody and they're just mesmerized. And then I bought all these like little popcorn things to give out to people. It's super fun for movie night, especially if you have like kids and stuff like that, which I don't, but you know, I have me and my cat, but it's just a fun thing to do. It's just awesome. Like we love it. Feels like you're at the movies and it's just, there's nothing better in life. You know, sometimes you just need to buy stuff like that. That's just like funky and Fun. Okay, so now you've seen all my favorites. So here are come some of the things that I'm gonna personally look for during Prime Day this time around. So I do know that Vitamixes are gonna be on sale, like majorly marked down. So if you do wanna get a Vitamix, this is your time to get one. And they're gonna be, I think they might even be like almost 30% off or something. So that's like the super high powered blender. So if you've ever wanted one of those, that is gonna be on sale. Another thing that's gonna be on sale is the Breville barista machines, like the coffee machines that are like kind of, 
your own barista bar at home. So a lot of that coffee stuff, Keurigs and things like that, that's gonna be on sale. So I would definitely check that out. I might look into it as well. I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence about it, I'll be honest. But I might get another Roku stick because I have Spectrum and Roku does Spectrum. So yeah, pretty much just kind of stuff like that. I mean, you know, vacuums and things. I'm gonna look into getting like a wet vacuum, like an actual wet vacuum, because I love my Bissell my little green Bissell for like spot cleaning, but I was looking at getting like a full carpet one, so I might look into that, I'll let you know. And I'll do a haul, by the way. So I'm planning on doing like a live shopping on my Twitch, so my Twitch is linked down below. But I'm gonna do something live on there and I'll do live shopping. So you guys will see and then I'll do a haul of it. But the other things I just wanna mention, like you know, if you wanna go watch my last video, I had obviously my best ever recommendations, but I want to tell you some of like my top selling ones from last time, just in case you guys didn't get those. This is my number one thing I feel like I've ever bought from Amazon and it's the Mueller chopper. So super easy. I demonstrated this in my last video, but onions, peppers, celery, if you're doing soup, obviously anything, anything. Okay guys, anything. Anything you need to chop. It comes with a bunch of different inserts, so it doesn't have to just be like this tiny dice size, but it's so easy and simple. I don't know why people in professional kitchens don't use it. I honestly, it's that fast. So this is my favorite thing I ever bought. So if you didn't buy this, I mean, honestly, I would get this, okay? It's the best purchase I've probably made in the last year. I also, these went crazy, okay? Now these are Kathleen Lights approved. The bowls, the Le Tauchi bowls. So if you haven't got these pasta bowls, these are the best pasta bowls in the world. So I already said enough about those. You don't need me to say it again. But then also, once again, these, these were a top seller. Um, from last video, so if you didn't get these yet, everybody I know loves these. Oh my God, it's so crispy ice cold. I just love it. So if you need to drink more water, get one of those. So those are like some of my top ones from you know my last video, but I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna watch that one as well before. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. If you guys wanna use my links, everything is going to be linked down below. Direct links. I super, super appreciate when you guys use my links. Like I said, you know, it really helps me out. I'm trying to be, Amazon's top number one influencer of the world. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching these Amazon favorite videos. If you like these kind of videos, I do make them all the time. I'm constantly buying stuff on Amazon. I'll probably buy more stuff on Prime Day, which you guys will eventually see in a video. So if you like this, subscribe and share it or whatever it is. And let me know, what's the best thing you ever bought on Amazon? Leave a comment below or what are you looking for on Amazon this Prime Day? I wanna know. I'm interested because I'm always looking for more stuff to buy. So, all right guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.